Well, in case you haven't been paying attention, Bitcoin has definitely been Bitcoining over the past year. Let's go ahead and delve into these numbers and see what these returns is looking like. Even at this stage in the game, when it comes to cryptocurrency, it always amazes me how much we take for granted the type of increases we see from time to time in this particular area of investing. When we talk about our annual return for a particular investment, when we're talking about real estate annually averaging around three to five percent, depending on the market, all that could be subject to change, especially in markets like this one. And then we uh, compare that to the um, five to seven percent um, rate of return that you can get on like a hedge fund investment then compare that and contrast that to a seven to 10 uh, percent return annually on the stock market, especially like the S&P 500 historically have hit 10 percent returns on your investment. That's all great. It's not always that good, but that's what it is. Historically, it's been around those averages, but those are annual returns. What is happening with Bitcoin? Well, the last time it had reached the levels it has reached now was around um, November of 2022, and it was around a $57,000 per coin mark. Bitcoin, on the other hand, has hit a 10% return in the last seven days. That's way high for in comparison to the traditional forms of investing. That means within a week, whatever money you have gathered together, if you had bought that equal share in Bitcoin, you would have increased your earnings 10%. In other words, a $10,000 investment would have netted you $1,000 this week. That's not money to sneeze at. Now, granted, there's a whole lot going on with taxation in the U.S., but if you're trying to hold on to these coins right now and you hit a good lick, that's where that number comes from. Um, Seven days versus a year of investing in other forms. The risk factor with Bitcoin is just always subject to you know what's going on in the market i know we have a lot of challenges in the united states right now financially with layoffs coming foreclosures going way way up um, cost of living going way way up people are looking for these ways to earn cash and this is just happens to be one of those ones it is ridiculously important that you contact the financial advisor before you even think about doing this um shouts out to jt the pocket watcher an actual financial advisor who advises us all if you don't have that eight thousand dollar cushion of money that you just not using you shouldn't even be considering uh investing but those of us who not see that kind of money in the near future this is a tempting time to hit a lick now people are looking at those tax returns and maybe thinking about doing something with cryptocurrency i will always tell you to be very careful on how you tread in this area um but you know 10 percent in seven days is just not something to sneeze at and there's no telling where this is going to go um with this year being a having year you definitely got to keep all your options open because these kind of licks come once in a blue moon and we need to pay attention to those moves and likewise you need to be very very careful of how you tread in these areas there were a lot of stories last year about exchanges going through all kinds of different turmoil there were um many scams that were run on people still to this day a lot of scams are being run on people we had a massive amount of legislation geared at uh, curtailing some of the transactional things that are going on 
But we also had some good news with uh, different types of cryptocurrency, particularly XRP. As these forms of payment settlement start to become more you know, widely used or start to become adapted in the different banking industries, you are going to start seeing people slowly gravitate to that instant type of transfers. Now, how do you go about getting into purchasing Bitcoin? I started off mining it with cryptocurrency rigs. However, with the cost of cryptocurrency rigs in the five to ten thousand to you know, twenty thousand dollar range for a particular coin, whether it's Bitcoin or Kadena or you know, Doge. It's a, it's a lot of cash to invest in just to make money off of cryptocurrency from a proof of work standpoint. For most of us, the fast money is in purchasing these cryptocurrencies. Um, it doesn't um, do you any good to just jump into these kind of purchases, especially if you don't know what you're doing. We do offer enough resources here on this channel to try to explain what these things are, how you should go about doing it, um, what exchanges are out there that are still acceptable exchanges here in the United States. Um, yeah, but you have to keep an eye on politics and watching how certain politicians are leaning how much power they have to sway an opinion or two. Um, yeah, all of that has um, come up in the past year and it has made a lot of people pull out of the industry. You know, I take a look at some of those um, NFTs that people are using, those non-fungible tokens. Um, all of a sudden, you don't hear anybody talking about those things anymore. Um, but Bitcoin and other t tokens kind of stood the test of time. So you definitely need to make yourself available to the information that's out there and try to see where you can get in and where you fit in and take advantage of these, these increases. I'm not going to go too long on this. Um, you know, get ran it with Bitcoin giving an annual return of 144%. Yeah, um, you'd be somewhat crazy not to attempt to get in there. But again, what goes up, most time comes down. Um, don't know when or how that's going to happen with this particular investment. Talk to your financial advisor. Maybe it's for you, maybe not. But uh, don't brush it off. Get your money, get your paper up, and see how that's going to work out for you. I'm Antoine Anderson. Thank you for watching Black Investments Matter. I hope to hear from you soon. We are closing in on 100 hours to go before we can monetize this channel and we can start bringing you more material uh, goods hopefully to grow that engagement love to hear from you like and subscribe talk to you later